Bonjour, this is Wendy at French and Lovely. I haven't made any journals for a while, I've been that busy, but a, a lovely friend in Japan who has the most beautiful Instagram account, I'll put the details below, sent me some lovely books. So I wanted to make her a journal and this is it. It's covered in vintage uh, French fabric, with some tied with some vintage lace and hand sewn. Let's get it open, here we go and i did a bit of handmade paper she loves flowers so i thought i'd um, include a few petals of flowers from my garden and a little fabric journal notes some stamping there uh violets are one of her favorite flowers so this is a, a violet from my garden and this is some um antique journal paper french journal um that they use for accounts and this is a vintage french dictionary with a few little tissue birds stuck on uh, because it was the birds bird section and then a, a genuine French stamp with birds on it a little ink stamp there then we have some pages from a Robinson Crusoe book that I've made into a little sort of stacking notepad thing I don't know what they're called but there we go uh, and a piece of beautiful book uh, from uh, if you can just read there 1884 this gorgeous uh, picture of this little boy. So I don't know who he is. I haven't read it. I must confess. I must read it before I before I send it off to her. And the back of the page with a lovely little story. And they're in the countryside. So I thought I'd do some butterflies and flowers. Then for some reason my mind went to the seaside. So <laughs> probably because it was children. I don't know. My mind goes off at a tangent. And so there's some nice little uh, seaside images and then some more birds. And this is from a lovely vintage encyclopedia of birds. Can't speak straight. And then some flowers. I've left lots of empty space because I like my journals to be useful so you can actually write in them and it's not all too fancy. And then I've got on to fruit again. It's my mind. Don't know how it works. Uh, and then another piece of this beautiful book from 1884 and as we were out in the countryside I thought I'd do another leaf from my garden and a nice little juniper stamp down here. Then, uh, I'll have to explain these in a minute, I've got a few of these adverts that are from 19th century magazines and newspapers. I didn't cut them out, I couldn't actually find a whole magazine or newspaper to send to her with an advert in it, but I managed to buy these online. So I'll explain that in a bit. Uh, meanwhile, let's just go back through more birds. Owls are her favourite. So there's this lovely owl page from the same encyclopedia. And then dictionary page with bird wings and aeroplane wings. Turn over. And there was a compass on the back of the page. So I thought let's do a compass and some um, decoupage with some maps in the background and some interesting uh, animals. Then I used some wine stained paper. This was some red wine that was left over. I know it's a crime not to have drunk it all but there we go. Uh, so I did a bottle of red wine, wine label and over the back we've got uh, an invoice from a wine cellar that used to be in a village close to me. And we have another piece of the 1884 book. Uh, I don't like cutting up old books, uh, but this was in a complete state when I found it. You can see by the edges. It was actually in a puddle covered in mud and I rescued it. Uh, here's another advert from the Grand Depot. This was an amazing shop in Paris in the late 1800s. And you can see this is dated here 1909, so it was still going then. Um, and my friend in Japan has a beautiful teacup with Grand Depot written on the back. So together we've been investigating and researching the Grand Depot. So I hope that she likes these adverts that I'm sending her. And on the back, they've got some lovely watch images. So I thought I'd do a bit of washi tape here with some nice watches and clocks. Now, this is one of my favorite pieces. This is from an exercise book from, I think it's 1909, the date's on it a bit further on. And you can see the beautiful French handwriting and then where the teacher has corrected it in red, just gorgeous. And it's so elegant, it reminded me of Paris. So we have a, a modern day Parisian, um, not that modern, no, 2014, yes, that one's modern. And then this one from the 1950s of the Eiffel Tower. 
and some more bird images because we've got to love a bird and another piece of accounts page and crediting and debiting and I thought as it's to do with money we'd have a bit of a crown jewels here so there we go then we've got another story French story book uh, Rose and her seven cousins and I imagined Rose having tea with her cousins so I put that on there then we've got some nice music score paper so we've got a music image and then these gorgeous teacup I just love these little cards with teacups on them so four little different teacup images there and then another picture of possibly Rose having tea with her seven cousins um, and then oh just love this. I found this photo frame with vintage photo frame with daffodils on it. So I did a, a dry, had a dry daffodil from my garden, which I stuck in there. And then I did, instead of a photograph, this beautiful, uh, it's only half sadly, but I only found a half, uh, is a piece of music. There we go. French music from who knows, 20s, 30s, amazing hairstyle. But there we go, he's lovely. So he goes back in there. There we go. And on we go. More flowers because my friend loves flowers and so do I. And these, these papers are all dyed. This one's onion skins. I recognise the colour. Onion skins, tea, coffee, all sorts. Um, and then I did a typewriter image and over here a pen image because of this beautiful writing. And here you can see where she signed it, 6th of January, 1909. Just incredible. And that's obviously original there. So lovely. Um, and then another piece of the uh, book from 1884. Didn't have any pictures on this one, so I thought I'd add a, a nice tree and a little hedgehog and hair. Another Grand Depot advert. Just love them. And some flowers and birds. And then I have this uh, piece of a history book, French history book, uh, all about the, the kings and royalty. So I thought peacocks, you know, royalty likes peacocks. Let's have a peacock image and another the crown, because why not? And then back to Paris again. Um, this friend and I were supposed to go to Paris together last year before you know what happened, which was a shame. So I've got a little ticket there and then a piece of... Uh, a French guidebook and a bus map that goes to the place that we were going to go to that has the amazing antique shops. But there we go, another day. And thinking of travel, I did a nice um, balloon, in, balloon image here. And then another book, this is a Grand Sauveteur, so the great heroes, and this is telling the life of this this guy. I don't know where his name is. It should be somewhere. Perrier. Ah, interesting. And he died in 1900. This was printed soon after that. A nice little old car. And then uh, this beautiful dragonfly stamp. And I know that she likes dragonflies as well. So we've got some dragonflies here, little cards. And in here, a little oh, insects. Because they're lovely. Um, and then I've got another different journal paper, another accounts journal. I love this colour, so I thought I'd do a, a nice stamp on some... Oh yeah, this is some vintage French cotton here that, that I've used to do these stamps on. Oh, my voice is going, sorry. And then tucked in here we have a French map from a school book. And then I've made uh, a little... Um, could be a gift tag, could be a bookmark. Um, from one of the books and in here I've made a, a little mini junk journal because I just love this paper and I thought it would be nice to um, use it as a cover and this has just got lots of little, little pages in it just like the big one but smaller handy for your pocket there we go so that tucks in there and then yet another advert. I did go, did go a bit overboard with the adverts, but there we go. In for a penny. Um, beautiful bumblebee image, again, printed on uh, vintage cotton. Uh, more of the story of Lyon Perrier. And then I like these, this map paper, so I made a little envelope. And like I did a moon out of a map. And then I have this 
tiny book. It's not this tiny, but I've made it about half size uh, about bringing up children. And so I thought I'd scan it and make a tiny version of it. Picture of a baby in here somewhere. There's the centile just There it is. I mean, how adorable is that? So little book in there, hidden in there. Nice little surprise when she opens that. And then we have some little shopping lists that were given away with biscuits and margarine and a nice little tag with a coffee pot on it. And then more travel images. We've got a ship here and a ship here. And this is more about the kings of France. Uh, last view of Paris, little stamp of Paris and some more paper. And that's it. Thank you very much. Bye bye.